Japan Dino, the best of Japan to you. Howdy, this is Andy of Japan Dino, and I have for you a late model Super SQV blow-off valve made by the HKS company here in Japan for the Ranebo CN9A for the Lancer Evolution. Ranebo CN9A, the vehicle-specific blow-off valve, the factory-set, non-adjustable type of blow-off valve. And uh, you can notice here that different from the uh, regular type of HKS super sequential blow-off valve, there is no adjustable uh, tensioning to the spring. The spring is factory set. So the flange for the Evolution, and good for all the Evolution vehicles, uh, we know for 100% certain that this is identical for all the Evolution, from the Evolution 1 up. The flange here, good for all of them. But the valve itself, specific for the CN9A, we assume as removed from a CN9A as it's a non-adjustable type blow-off valve. So the back of it, factory set by HKS, and uh, the blow-off valve in great condition, as you can see, the full kit for the Iran Airball CN9A, HKS super sequential blow-off valve. We'll go to some closer photos, and we have a close-up of the valve itself. So the, <clears throat> the valve, a sequential blow-off valve, diaphragm in this area here, and boost pressure pushing from below onto the diaphragm, the inner manifold vacuum pulling on the diaphragm. The diaphragm movement is uh, countered by the spring in the back here, spring tension set in the factory for the uh, CN9A Ranebo. That would be the EVO 4. And uh, the, there is a piston here. When the diaphragm moves and flutters, it pulls a piston. The piston, when moving, allows the uh, booster squeeze from the front trumpet here, giving that very distinctive HKS super sequential blow-off valve sound. So the HKS super sequential blow-off valve, the very, very popular blow-off valve. Of course, HKS, a famous tuning and performance company here in Japan. The valve, very, very tidy. This is the cool key type, the late model HKS valve with the HKS logo on the top and the uh, thin covering of epoxy over the aluminum, uh, preventing some of the corrosion. That was a problem with some of the earlier model SQVs, uh, super SQVs. And so in very tidy condition, a few little marks and scratches, as you can see. And the other side, again, equally tidy, a little bit of a heat mark there, uh, but only in the epoxy. And uh, the valve itself, very tidy, a few little scratches there. And as you can see, no adjuster bolt in the back there. So a non-adjustable type factory set blow-off valve, and, but very clean, very tidy for the CN9A, removed from an EBO uh, 4 here in Japan and shot in back there of the uh, just where the adjuster, adjuster bolt and locking nut would usually be. Of course, nothing there as it's factory set. The nipple here that connects to the inner manifold vacuum and the valve itself, the uh, diaphragm housing and the piston running through this area here. And finally, shot from the front, you can see the piston there. So when this piston is pulled back sequentially and little movements by the diaphragm, then it allows the boost to squeeze around the outside, giving that very distinctive HKS sound. So the HKS super sequential blow-off valve factory set for the EVO 4, made in Japan, from Japan. Thank you. In order to serve you better, we have our website at www.japandino.com, as well as our blog, the Japan Dino Daily Fix, where we feature items of special interest. Look forward to seeing you there.